So you might ask yourself, why would I want to switch my Pioneer style hydraulic couplers that my tractor and attachments already have to a flat face style coupler? Three reasons, we'll get to those in a minute, um, but I want to give a big thank you to Summit Hydraulics for providing the flat face hydraulic couplers for this video. Um, there will be a link in the description for their website as well as to these uh, specific um, flat face couplers. Here are the tools and products I will be using. So for cleaning, brake clean. Um, this is the non-flammable version. Um, this is a one gallon container. Um, I will take brake clean in this jug and pour it into this right here is an air pressure sprayer. Um, use compressed air to pressurize it and then that um, expels the liquid out of the sprayer. Um, very handy. It is kind of on the pricey side. I think it was somewhere around $65 or $70 for this particular um, unit. Uh, from research that I've done in the long run, um, it's cheaper to purchase in a larger quantities and then dump the liquid into something like this. At least it used to be. I have some shop towels. Um, some of these are pretty well used, but some of them have a little bit of life to them. They're going to get full hydraulic oil anyway, um, so I use those up first. And then I do also have some clean paper towels if I need them. Um, here I have a product that I recently started using. Um, it's called Zep Heavy Duty Floor Stripper Concentrate. So far, I really like it. Um, a YouTube channel called Fireball Tool mentioned this product in one of his videos and has been awesome so far. Really like it. Um, here's the floor cleaner and the sprayer. It's actually a clear liquid. And I'll note that the Zep floor stripper doesn't have a strong smell like brake clean does. However, it doesn't almost instantly degrease like brake clean does. Um, have some kind of a uh, pan or something like that to catch any oil that may get past your rags so it doesn't drip on your floors to help with clean up. Um, for wrenches, we have a 16 millimeter, 19 millimeter, 21 millimeter, 13 sixteenths, and 7 eighths. And I also have a um, flat face screwdriver to remove the plugs out of the um, couplers. So the three reasons to consider for switching to the flat face style coupler are one, fluid loss, two, contamination, and three, cleanliness. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the fluid loss difference between the Pioneer style coupler and the flat face coupler. Hopefully the camera will pick this up. But So I'm gonna disconnect the flat face first and then I'm gonna disconnect the Pioneer. So with the flat face, is simply pull back on the collar, pops out. Hopefully you can see the difference. Now I'm going to do the Pioneer. I'm purposely not going to have a rag just to show the fluid loss difference. I'm also going to connect them again. So the Pioneer, stick your mail in, in like this, pull the collar back, stick it in. Now you're connected, flat face. You notice I don't have my hand, I can have anywhere near this collar, so I'm just gonna push in the mail. Just like so. Contamination. With the Pioneer style couplers, this is the female, um, you have this cavity that the male has to enter to connect to the female. And this cavity is where your, most of your fluid um, is lost. Because of this cavity and because of the uh, oily residue that's in around this coupler, it attracts dirt. Now, obviously you do have this little plug here to help um, reduce the amount of dirt that enters this cavity. Anytime you can minimize the amount of dirt or contaminants in your hydraulic system, the better. Okay, as far as installing these couplers, there's nothing special that you have to purchase like a bushing on. You would simply just unthread the Pioneer and then thread on the flat face. So just to demonstrate here, um, here's the male Pioneer. Um, two wrenches I have is a 16 millimeter and a 19 millimeter. Um, you can do it this way, how I have in my hands. 
um, in order to break it apart or it's even better yet put the coupler on the ground and then you can um, pin the coupler to the floor and then um, more easily break the connection simply unscrew the coupler you're gonna leak some oil grab your nail flat face Take the plug out and do not discard this plug. Keep this plug so you can um, plug your old coupler. Thread it on. And then you'll need either a 7 8 or a 13 16 and then the smaller of the two metrics, so the 16 millimeter. You simply would tighten it. Now obviously I don't have this um, tight like I would be using it, but for demonstration purposes, that's what I'm gonna do. Take one of the larger standard wrenches. Which I believe it's this one here. And then, so it's a seven eighths is what I have. Simply unthread your coupler. Get a rag, obviously, because you're going to lose oil. Then take your female flat face, like here. Take the plug out. Again, save the plug. This coupler and then tighten. Obviously this isn't as tight as I would have it if I were to use it, but for demonstration, it's gonna do that. Now, a couple of tips. Um, when you, if you were to go to replace all of these um, couplers, you'll wanna take off this panel because you will not have enough room in order to um, move their inches the way you'll need to. Where the collar is and where this um, little cutout is in the collar and this pin, you wanna make sure you can visibly see that. Because in order to disconnect the coupler, you have to make sure that that um, cutout and that um, detent, that pin there, are in line in order to disconnect. And when you go to connect the coupler, um, you'll actually want to turn that collar to where that knockout or that cutout and that pin are not in line. Otherwise, if you were to hit a branch or something, potentially, it can push this collar back and you'll disconnect the um, coupler. Very simple. Um, again, nothing extra you have to do in regards to a bushing of any kind. Um, simply uh, unthread the Pioneer, thread on the um, flat face, tighten, um, repeat the same um, steps or the other couplers, and there you go.